Today we're gonna take a look how to make this liquid goo here in After Effects. For the artboard size, I'm gonna go with the settings and the text is gonna be Mango Grotesque Black. All right, so let's go to the effects and presets, search for twirl, and let's drag and drop the twirl on the text layer. And here I can increase the twirl radius, for example, on a 50, and I can activate the stopwatch at the angle. Right now it's on zero, and I'm gonna bring it somewhere here, and I'm gonna increase it. So it's gonna bend it something like this. I'm gonna press the letter U, so it's gonna highlight the keyframes. Let's select both keyframes, right click on the keyframe, go to keyframe assist, and select easy ease. And I'm gonna bring this keyframe all the way out, so it's gonna start twirling really slowly, like so. Now let's go to effects and presets, search for CC smear. Drag and drop the CC smear under the twirl. And as you can see, we got two dots here which are going to distort the text. So what I'm gonna do is bring these dots in order to form a droplet or a melt effect. And you also can bring the top dot and make it more skinnier or thicker, like so. So here what you need to do is just duplicate the CC smear. I'm gonna press Control D and I'm gonna go back to the dots and we're gonna need to multiply these droplets. Press Control D again and repeat it again until you're gonna fill up the whole text and it's gonna melt all the text together. All right, so I'm just gonna animate these four droplets and let's go ahead and bring this to the very beginning. Now I'm gonna go up to the CC smear first, the very first CC smear. Let's go ahead and activate the reach stopwatch. And right now, as you can see, it's on 100 and I'm gonna decrease it. And as you can see, the melting is going back. So I'm gonna bring it down to zero and I'm gonna push it to the second second. And let's go back to the reach and let's go and increase the reach. So it's gonna start animating the droplet, increase more until the droplet is gonna fall off and it's gonna go back to normal. So if I bring this back, you can see and hit play, it is going to animate it. So basically you're gonna need to animate them one by one. So I'm gonna go, for example, to the CC smear number two. Let's go and activate the reach stopwatch, decrease it to zero. And again, let's go to the second second, increase the reach until it's gonna animate it nicely and repeat this step with the rest of the CC smear. All right, so after you are done, it should look something like this. It's pretty simple. All of them are animating at once. So I'm gonna select the text layer, I'm gonna press the letter U and press U again. So it's gonna highlight the keyframes. I'm also gonna select all these keyframes and ease them. And from here, we're gonna need to loop these droplets. And for that, we're gonna go here to the first CC smear, press and hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. So it's gonna activate the expressions and type in loop out. Enter and click somewhere here to deselect. And of course, I'm gonna select this loop out, press Control C, and then what I'm gonna do is just repeat this step with the rest of the CC smear. I'm gonna press Control V and add this loop out to every each. So if I hit play, you can see it is going to start looping itself and repeating this dripping process. And here, of course, we're gonna need to randomize it even more. So for example, I'm gonna select these keyframes, bring it out. And I'm gonna stretch this one, for example, or I'm gonna bring this here, you know, and just randomize it as best as possible. So when you hit play, it is going to look something like this. You also can add some effects, right click here, go to new, select adjustment layer. Let's go to effects and presets, search for bevel alpha. Drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. I'm gonna increase the edge thickness to 20, light angle 40, Search for Gaussian Blur and drag it under the bevel. I'm gonna go with the default settings. Let's go to Effects, search for Simple Choker. And here we're gonna increase the Simple Choker. I'm gonna go with 10. You also can search for CC Glass. And here open up the surface. Let's go and change up the adjustments, source, effects and presets. And here is gonna make it a little bit more liquid. And just play around with the settings to achieve some interesting results. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.